Assalamu alaikum guys so in this video we'll talk about lymphoma and especially Hodgkin lymphoma so what is lymphoma so it is the malignant proliferation of the lymphoid cells that form a mass basically the malignancy of B and T cells is called lymphoma so we have basically two types of lymphoma we have classified this lymphoma into two types one is the Hodgkin lymphoma and the other one is non Hodgkin lymphoma the main difference between the two is the Hodgkin lymphoma is usually localized is often localized and it is spread from node to node that is what we call it spread contagiously contagious spread from that is from node to node and it has no extra nodal sites of involvement for the, uh, like no involvement of GI tract no involvement of skin liver this is what we call no extra nodal involvement whereas in non-Hodgkin lymphoma it is spread often to it has often multiple peripheral sites multiple peripheral sites it is non-contiguous it spreads like uh, from uh, not from one node to another it often like it is like uh, there is cervical uh, lymph node involved and then there is like inguinal lymph node involved that is what we call non contagious and there is also extra nodal involvement that is the involvement of GI tract and the skin most commonly there is very less clinical uh, presentation like the patient will ha only have painless rubbery uh, lymphadenopathy and most commonly they will have B symptoms B symptoms are actually the patient will have night sweats will have fever and weight loss this is what we call B symptoms the golden standard test for diagnosis is lymph node incision and uh, when we do a lymph node biopsy we basically in Hodgkin lymphoma we see Reed Stenberg cells that is the most important point it looks like the owl's eye it is a bilobe nucleus it looks like the owl's eye so this is the most important findings in the biopsy in the Hodgkin lymphoma we have this Reed Sternberg cells where these cells are absent in non-Hodgkin lymphoma so today our main focus will be on Hodgkin lymphoma and in this Hodgkin lymphoma we will have Reed uh, Sternberg cells these Reed Sternberg cells are nothing but these are large B cells and they will have a multi-lobe nuclei and a prominent nucleoli and uh, this will basically be positive for CD15 and CD30 since these are B cells so uh, the, mm, so these stern, uh, Reed Sternberg cells will not be positive for standard B cell markers which are CD19, uh, 20 and 21 they will be positive for CD15 and CD30 and these reed Sternberg cells are nothing but large B cells that is multi multi uh, bilobe nuclei so these Hodgkin lymphoma are less common than non-Hodgkin lymphoma and these basically 40% of the adult lymphoma comprises of the Hodgkin lymphoma and the risk factors are actually uh, patients who have HIV or patients who are associated with EBV Ebola virus and uh, and those patients who have a defect in their immunity especially cell mediated immunity Hodgkin lymphoma has bimodal edge distribution which means that 
by model h distribution which means that the first peak is uh, is between 50 to 30 years and the second peak is greater than 50 years so these patients are at a very high risk for developing these people who have age in between 15 and 30 and those greater than 50 years uh, have a higher risk of developing Hodgkin lymphoma so these reed Sternberg cells in the Hodgkin lymphoma will secrete cytokine that cytokine will basically attract the reactive lymphocytes, the plasma cells, the macrophages and the eosinophils which may lead to fibrosis and these uh, reactive inflammatory cells will basically make up the bulk of the tumor and uh, on the basis of that the Hodgkin lymphoma is further divided into uh, four subtypes which are number one nodular sclerosis number two lymphocyte rich number three lymphocyte depleted and number four is mix cellularity in lymphocyte rich one basically will have a, a high lymphocyte count whereas in lymphocyte depleted there will be low lymphocyte in the mixed cellularity we will have high eosinophils, the basophils, the neutrophils, the macrophages and the plasma cells and uh, the lymphocyte rich one will have a very good prognosis whereas the lymphocyte depleted one will have a poor prognosis whereas in the uh, nodular sclerosis one this one is usually more common in females and it uh, uh, present as a mediastinal mass on chest x-ray and uh, in this tumor basically the tumor will form a fibrous tissue which will surround the portion of the tumor and will basically create nodules and there will be sclerosis in it and this nodular sclerosis one usually comprises of 60 to 80 percent of the Hodgkin lymphoma 60 to 80 percent of the Hodgkin lymphoma is actually this one nodular sclerosis so as said earlier the cl uh, classic clinical presentation would be enlarged painless uh, lymphadenopathy uh, lymphadenopathy which is uh, rubbery in nature and uh, in this nodular sclerosis one we'll have a cervical lymphadenopathy or mediastinal lymph, lymph node involved and it's usually females are involved and uh, plus the patient will have uh, itching uh, on the skin which is called pruritus and as well as since uh, mediastinal uh, there, there is uh, basically mediastinal mass so the patient will have difficulty in breathing and will have cough and as I said before this one the lymphocyte rich one will have a very very good prognosis a very good prognosis whereas the lymphocyte depleted one has very low prognosis poor prognosis so based on an arbor classification Hodgkin lymphoma is divided into four stages the first stage is when there is only one lymph node enlarged second stage is actually when the lymph nodes are greater than equal to 2 and on the same side of on the same side of diaphragm stage 3 is actually when the lymph node is actually when, when the lymph node enlarges on both sides of the diaphragm and stage 4 is usually when uh, extra nodal uh, lymphatic tissue or extra lymphatic tissues are involved for example bone marrow for example GI tract or skin when these are involved we say that it is a stage 4 and this classification is basically uh, called an arbor classification patients with uh, Hodgkin lymphoma are cured uh, basically more than 90 percent of the time and uh, often in stage 1 and 2 we basically uh, give this treatment is called ABVD 
which can be remembered through this mnemonic A B V D. A is basically adriamycin, B is bleomycin, V is pinblastin, and D is the carbazine. So these are the drugs which we give plus we give the chemotherapy and radiotherapy and uh, often uh, most commonly more than 90 percent of the time the patients recover well and uh, that's all for today see you in the next video uh, if you like our videos please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for uh, more updates if you like to have a video made on a certain topic please comment us below the topic which you want to cover inshallah we'll do that thank you